Hi, I'm Brad. Today we've got some more updates on turbo diesel technology and the way you can get more power and performance out of your particular turbo diesel. And above me is a 2015 Triton. And this particular client had our XA power kit upgrade done some time ago. And he was very, very happy with the result. And he's contacted us recently and wanting to get just that little bit more power and performance and torque out of his car. Um, to take it up to the maximum reliability, reliable limit of performance. And down beside me, we've taken the time to take off the factory standard exhaust system and show you the aftermarket system. But before we talk about the exhaust systems itself, let's talk about just how a performance exhaust or a performance tune can actually work for the best results on your turbo diesel car. And unfortunately, there's a lot of workshops and businesses out there who will try to sell you an exhaust system first up and possibly not even sell it coupled with a uh, tune at the same time and that is when I talk about a tune I'm talking about a custom tune through the factory ECU not a plug-in interceptor or a device that plugs into the engine harness and one of those reasons why we talk about this is often you can get some really good reliable performance and power and torque out of your turbo diesel model with the original factory components because these cars are very heavily detuned in Australia because they're typically a global car in other parts of the world they have poorer quality fuel so the manufacturers when they build these cars build them for sort of the lowest common denominator to suit the worldwide market but here in Australia as our fuel has steadily improved over the years and we're getting closer um, to Euro spec quality type fuels we can actually deliver a much better quality outcome and performance product knowing that the car is going to be run in a better environmental condition to give you that peace of mind of the reliability so when you custom tune the factory ECU for power and torque, typically we would use uh, race ROM technology through the factory ECU. We don't touch any of the wiring at all. It's a custom tune package as if it was done at the factory and that is typically our XA power kit and you can get some of this document information off our mrttuned.com.au website um, and I'll give you some more updates on that at the end of this video. But the exhaust system often only represents a little improvement over and above what you can actually get when you custom tune the factory ECU because most turbo diesel cars, uh, it's not all about the amount of boost and airflow, it's about the fuel mixture and the control of that fuel mixture coupled with the right boost. So this particular car has been driving for quite some time with our XA power kit, which is a custom tune of the factory ECU using original uh, factory exhaust system and factory standard parts. And then the XB kit on some of these models is what we offer as the next level upgrade. But the XB kit doesn't typically give you the same amount again as what you get out of the XA kit. So if you look at your numbers and look at the dollar invested, it's actually better value to do the XA kit and only do the XB kit if you just want as much as you possibly can get and you've probably got that right kind of budget, which is why we encourage people to try out the XA kit first. And then if you want more power and torque, you can always come back and pay the difference and upgrade to the XB kit. So this particular client is doing exactly that. Very happy with the power and performance. Get a little bit more money to invest in his car. Wants a little bit more grunt. And this is what we're doing. So let's have a look at the way the exhaust systems are manufactured. So from the factory, you'll notice out of the back of the turbo, you've got the outlet into the catalytic converter into a flexible joint and then down, sorry, into a flange joint and then down into a flexible joint. And then you look at the aftermarket exhaust system, it's now much larger with a similar flange to bolt up to the back of the turbo. It's got a bracket that bolts onto the, the side of the transmission in the engine. It's got a flange joint and now a flexible joint, which is a stainless steel flexible joint internally. It's not a ball joint. You look at the original factory one, which is a lower production cost. Um, Mitsubishi use a ball joint, which allows the exhaust system to move independently from the engine to where it's hung off the rest of the chassis because from here down it's hung off you can see just down here um, the rubber hangers that are bolted to the chassis similar location for this exhaust system and then we put a rear muffler and then of course it goes out the back of the uh, the trans about the back of the chassis as well and from here back is hung off the chassis and here forward is bolted to the engine so when the engine moves around this is where the amount of flexibility in the exhaust system is provided to make sure the exhaust doesn't twist and ha doesn't have any long-term damage which results in cracking, breaking of mounts and things like that. So if you're doing a lot of travelling, a lot of off-road use, um, make sure the exhaust system you're choosing, if you're going to go down this path, has got a flexible joint in it. Unfortunately, some manufacturers reduce this component here um, to keep their manufacturing costs down. Um, and you end up with a fixed exhaust system all the way through, which is then more likely to have cracking or broken mounts. 
and you can see now the reason why we recommend it. And of course, you must remember when you fit this larger exhaust system to flow more exhaust gas, the advantage is you reduce a little bit of heat out of the back of the exhaust or the back of the turbo, which reduces your um, exhaust gas temperatures, which means you can then put a little bit more fuel in and run a little bit tighter fuel mixtures and generate more grunt and then match the boost to um, suit those revised fuel figures which are controlled through the factory ECU using the race ROM technology and the custom tuning of the original factory ECU, which then delivers a more power and more torque um, over and above a mechanically standard car. So in summary, don't fall into the trap of thinking you always have to put an exhaust system on your turbo diesel first. Make sure you get the ECU custom tuned first because you probably will be pleasantly surprised and save yourself the cost of an exhaust system. Of course, if you want it because you want it to look a bit different or sound a bit different, there's nothing wrong with that as well. But make sure it's always custom tuned as a complete package. And of course, when it all goes back in together, we'll just show you, if I get my camera in to come around from the side, where it all fits. So right up there is the outlet of the turbo. Um, and then the downpipe comes down and you notice the bolts under the side of the transmission here and then it travels down through the back and then hangs off the original factory hangers here which are then part of the chassis and of course goes out through the back of the car. So that gives you a bit of an idea of what you come to look for when you're doing a performance upgrade on your turbo diesel. In this case, it's a Mitsubishi Triton. Remember to go to our website, MRT Tuned com.au where you can download a technical document with a whole heap of dyno graphs and even more information. Remember some of the later model cars have got a DPF, that's a diesel particulate filter which is a ginormous filter for the front of the exhaust system to catch all the black soot but that opens up another whole can of worms when you're talking about aftermarket exhaust systems and emissions and things like that as well. And check out one of our other videos where we talk about that to help you understand that as well. But for now my name is Brett Middleton. Wherever you are in the world, remember we can do custom tunes to suit your car here in Australia through our partner network. Just contact us and we can put you in touch with one of our local tuners to help you get our technology close to you. But for now, my name is Brett. Speak to you again soon. Bye.